Alright, welcome back everyone, Tech here. Let's continue our Let's Play for Crusader Kings 2 for Croatia. Sorry, I can't spit anything out there. Um, this is, I believe, part 25, and I apologize for the last video for the audio issues. Those should be resolved. I did a few tests, and I think I have the, the levels adjusted properly now, so... Um, if you remember from the last video, or maybe you couldn't hear some of it from the last video, uh, we were taking Hum, which we successfully did that. We pressed our claim and took it, and that was one of the main things we did. We had the battle with Hum, and what, oh, we had a son. That is correct. Um, whoops. Double clicked there. We had a son, Lucas. Which, as I said in the last video, we probably couldn't hear me. I named that after. That's my actually my eldest son. His name is Lucas. So maybe 30 years from now, when I'm gone, he'll be watching these videos and see that I named character after him. <laughs> so, um, which for some reason I don't like my son. Personal diplomacy. Okay. Um, but that's all right. I'm glad that we finally got that resolved. It was starting to get a little crazy there. And um, other things we looked at, we our vassals, we were doing really good. Um, thanks for, real quickly too, thanks for all the comments. I've been getting some great comments from everybody. I did before I started recording this video. I went back and read all the comments from the previous video. Um, seemed like the general consensus is, is everyone said I need to continue to do more upgrades, which we will take care of that right here in this video. Um, but I had, I don't know, about four or five different people post about um, that I need to get a little more uh, focused on upgrades within my uh, counties and, and everything. And they're right. And I, I did do some. If you remember the video before last, I think I did a, a whole round of upgrades through several areas. Um, because I was up around like 1,000. Um, now I'm down to 400. But uh, we need to do another round of them here. Let's go ahead while I'm talking and let it run for some stuff to pop up. Oh, okay. So now some... Ah, oh, nice. Ion, who likes me a lot, because I went and got a split for him. He has changed his mind. If you, if you remember at the end of the last video, I, I nominated Lucas to be my heir, but two of my main land holding vassals uh, were still I think thinking Picard or whatever I guess um, so now he is my my illegal heir um, where's the um, what am I trying to click here laws there we go so yeah so so now it's me and Duke I own say it's Lucas and I have Mutamar saying it's Picard so no problem there our knowledge of military fortifications in Usora has increased to level one Roger alright so let's get rid of that um, so a couple other things like I said we're gonna do a couple upgrades here um, actually let's um, I'm going to go around and hit a couple. Chris, back, I think I already have... Nope, oh, hey, that was a good book. What kind of timing was that? As soon as I pull it up, it finishes the castle village. Um, which, that's one of the main ones I want to hit in some of the other zones. Castle village. It gives a 1.5 uh, tax income. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on getting castle villages up right now. I'm not anticipating fighting anybody immediately, um, except maybe the this other Ragusa down here. Um, but I, I don't need to work on my troops right this second. I'm going to build castle villages and in a few areas and get my tax income really cranking. It's kind of my... Okay, what am I building here? I'm building... It's almost done. That's a levy size, though, so that's fine. I have a 2% revolt risk from just taking that. Uh, 
City walls is always good too for this. Let me um just for the heck of it. Let me um uh, where is it at? What am I looking for? Marshall. Why do I have? Wait a second. What happened here? Okay, I was about to say I got. Duke Ion the first of Dalmatia um, there and I was looking at my guys here and I saw Bishop Ion I was like when the hell did he turn into a bishop <laughs> but that's not it's a different it's a different Ion um, uh oh my brother Joe lacks all passion and ambition perfectly content with his lot in life oh is this like the slothful like, oh content uh, he gains content. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Be content. I don't, I don't need your problems right now. <laughs> so, be content with what you have. Uh, okay. Yep. Oh, that that finished. Okay, and Rama. Right. So let's go ahead and kick off the castle village then okay and then uh, I was gonna send my dang it my marshal over to um, just for a couple minutes to suppress revolts I mean it's not a big deal but um, one other thing let me let's get one more thing built oh that's not mine is it Oh yeah, it is. My portrait just changed all of a sudden, didn't it? I just noticed that. Like, hey, I lost a little bit of weight or something, didn't I? Come on. I did a little bit. Maybe a little. I'll tell you what, my wife, she still does look hot. A portrait there. Um, yeah, my portrait changed, I guess, because I hit 30. It looks like I've been, uh, been working out. Um, okay, so that's fine. Um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, I wanted to get one more thing built. Right. Um, Castle Village. Okay. 181. I don't want to go much. I don't want to go. I, I like to stay right around 200. I, I, if you start cutting it too close, I, I mean, literally, I think the computer sits there and watch, watches and waits for you to get to, like, 50, and then throws a freaking curveball at you. <laughs> so, <laughs> my advice is always keep at least about 200 in there. And as you can see, we're moving along pretty good with Ash already. I mean, numbers-wise, I mean, look, we're already at 730 uh, Prestige and 816 Piety. I mean, that's... For as short as his rule has been, that's not bad, in my opinion, anyway. Um, I mean, part of that is from unifying Croatia, obviously, in his rule, and, and taking over. I mean, he's actually been pretty quick. I mean, his, his rule, he's taken over five or six areas, but... Now, I don't think... What's this here? Uh, okay, a title can be us usurped. County... Oh, no, yeah. No, we won't be doing that right now. What's going on there is since we took home, we can we have a claim right to take Roshka because they're tied. But if we do that, we have to go to war with this big purple blob right here. Um, I'm not gonna get into all that right now. Um, let's pause this just for a quick second. Princess Pamela. Um, you know, she's one I may actually shape her myself because I kind of want to groom her up to marry off. Um, and I don't want to do it yet. I don't want to betroth her yet until I get some, some abilities on her, I think. But... Let me see. Helena's seven, right? Right. Yeah, Pamela, I think I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to mold her a little bit. So I think we're going to set myself to educate her. 
actually. And then when my son's born, I may switch her, depending on where we're at at that point. Or when my son gets to, um, to six, which is six years away, um, or five years away, so that's not a big deal. How is she doing? She's doing all right. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, somebody else asked on the last video, they wanted to see what was going on up here in Hungary. Um, yeah, there's some crazy things going on here in Hungary, actually. And if you look, it appears he is at war. He has a serious internal war going on. And, and this is, this, we do got to kind of keep an eye on what's going on up here. Because it looks like Duke Peter II of Ungvar war for Hungary. And it looks like... Well, that guy just got jailed, it looks like. So that may not be good for... For them. But, I mean... Uh, there's some crazy shenanigans going on up here. I mean, this whole area here has been pulled, basically. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to click around on some of this stuff for... I know there's some of you that are interested, so you c I can click on this stuff and you can kind of... You'll get stuff even that I'm not saying by... I was trying to look at this right here. This is Duke Peter II of Ungvars. That's the guy that's... That's the guy that's got the beef. And it looks like he's pulled that. So, yeah, there's some, some crazy stuff going on up there. So, I mean, I think, you know, we're in a good situation right now where I think if these big guys around us got too many other things going on to really worry about us. I did see some fighting going on over here a little while ago, but I don't see it right now. There's this one revolt-looking thing going on down here, it looks like. Dispo... Oh, good luck with that. This guy's revolting against the king to get rid of him. Yeah, good luck with that. So, anyway, the only, uh, let's see, so we got, we got our upgrades going, we're doing pretty, let's go ahead and start the clock back up. Another thing that's going to look at up here is just kind of look at some of this, uh, stuff going on here that's kind of interesting with old King Gazer. If you recall correctly, he's married to my sister, Sierra here, who I was looking at this earlier, and it's it's kind of crazy if you look at these two. Um, I mean, she he's got a whole bunch of baggage of his own, and, but she does as well. You look at him; he's got he's Midas touched with Kinslayer, excommunicated, gluttonous, slothful. I mean, that's just some crazy. I mean, yeah, he's got kind and humble and just in there, but he's a slothful, gluttonous, excommunicated Kinslayer. And then you have my sister, who is an underhanded rogue homosexual, who's arbitrary with the gluttonous, and she's depressed. This is some craziness going on. And she straight up hates him. I mean, negative 100. She just, she hates him. And she's probably mad at me for marrying <laughs> marrying her to him, I guess. <laughs> but he actually kind of likes her. And they don't have any children, and I just don't see that happening. So, that's some some crazy stuff going on right there. I mean, I really don't think the two of them are going to have any kids. So, uh, that's, I mean, I don't, I mean, who's her, her his heir... She would become the... Wow. Hmm. Crazy. Alright, so... Yeah, let's keep this going a little bit. Do we have any... Events? Oh, man, I have no... What's up with no ambitions? I have no ambitions that I can select 
A daughter was born to Prince Picard of Croatia and Lucia Paraj named her. Excellent. You go, Picard. Um, I should have named him Riker. Well, there's nobody... Yeah, there's no options there, which sucks. All hell. Jihad. The Great Caliph Akin the First. Great Caliph Akin the First has... What? Does that repeat itself? The Great Caliph Akin the First. Great Caliph Akin the First. Okay, whatever. Has decided to call a jihad against the Christians in Antilochea. He urges all righteous Muslims to take up arms and claim for the glory of Islam. Foolish infidels. Excellent. Um, let's see, we could hold a summer fair. And let's hold off on that right now. I kind of want to keep my money going straight here. And we're going to get to... Okay, he's fabricating claims there, which is fine. That's what we want. Okay, I caught... This is the first one now with my daughter that I'm going to try to mold. Let's see how this goes. I caught my daughter Pamela lying to me again, straight to my face, without batting an eye. I almost had an innocent scullery maid sent to the stocks. Even I am impressed. She gains deceitful. Take, talk to her about honesty. 50% chance she gets honest. 40% chance loses this trait deceitful. Okay. 80% no effect. 20% she loses the trait. I'm going to talk to her about honesty. Hope she gets honest. Pamela speaks the truth whenever possible and never seems to lie. She has gained the honest trait. Excellent. You will make a great wife for us to marry into something that we can take over.